A few years ago, I was invited to go on a mission. And it was very exciting for me because I'd never gone on a mission before, and I knew that not only was I going to enjoy it, but it gave me an opportunity to serve at a high level. So it was called the Carro Mission, and at the same time, we were going to the Dominican Republic to bring chiropractic care to the needy. We also were filming a documentary that the governor of the country wanted to do in order to show the good work that this organization was doing. But as we were walking throughout there, I noticed that there were babies that were sleeping on the streets. Haitian babies, because you see, this trip happened after the Haitian disaster. Many of the families from Haiti had to go to the Dominican Republic because there were nowhere else to go. And I discovered at that time that many of the couples uh, ended up splitting up and also leaving their babies to, on the streets because they couldn't take care of it. They were just hoping that somebody would take care of them. Well, there was one brother that did and took care of nine kids into their home that had nothing. It was just, I mean, a couple of bricks and a, and a, and a metal, sheet of, uh, uh, metal sheet that kept them from the rain. And it would, it would flood at night and one of the babies passed away and they had him give away the, nine, the other remaining eight babies. Hi, this is Dr. Fab Mancini and welcome to the Dr. Fab Show. And I wanna share with you about kindness. You see, during that trip, we discovered that there was this brother, when I met him, had a, the idea that he wanted to build an orphanage. He wanted to build an orphanage where he can have not nine babies, but actually 50 plus babies. And within a matter of two hours, we raised enough money to start an orphanage. He started it right away, and we started taking care of these babies that were sleeping in the streets. I want you to know that kindness has been one of the most valuable assets that I implement into my daily life. Acts of kindness, everybody knows, make you feel better. It's also very healthy and it gets you out of depression. But I wanna share with you the three ways that I incorporate kindness into my life. The first one is, I want you to open your ears, open your eyes and feel the struggle of others. I want you to be able to walk around with your ears and eyes open and I want you to feel the needs of others. You see, being kind, you have to be able to recognize what is it that somebody else is going through. And being kind is just coming up with ways that you can support them. And granted, you don't have to even let them know that you're doing it. You can do it anonymously, but just do something to help the struggles and the needs of other people. The second thing that I like, that I've learned over the time, is the fact that do something unselfishly. You see, one of the things that I've learned in my life is that whenever you put yourself out there and you do something in which you have no return on that investment of time, on that investment of money, then it's always an act of kindness. I wanna make sure that you look for opportunities to serve those that are less fortunate than you are. I wanna make sure that you look for any, any, listen, it could be as simple as playing a compliment to somebody that's been a little low. It's been just, uh, taking somebody out to lunch and lifting their spirits up because they just broke up with their loved one. Just make sure that you do something unselfish for somebody else and don't expect anything in return. The last thing that I will share with you in how I incorporate kindness into my life is begin in your own environment. You see, a lot of times I get connected with people and it happened last week. I get invited to do this project in Africa to do fundraisers and bring water and all of these things to these villages. And of course, I'm very excited about it because I want to serve in any way that I can. But you know what I said to this institution? I said, you know what? I'm all in, but let's do it right here in our inner cities. We have right here individuals that are struggling just as much as somebody else in Africa. I wanna make sure that we take care of our own and try to figure out ways that we can help these individuals that have lost hope. So I wanna make sure when you do the act of kindness, begin with your family, begin with your, your spouse, your significant other, begin with your children, begin with your family at home, your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, begin with your uncles, begin with your friends, because you know what? It really needs to start in your own personal environment. And then you're gonna see the difference how this act of kindness has a tremendous impact into your life. Listen, I want you to put right now in the comments one act, one act that you're gonna do this week of kindness. And then I wanna be able to tell you and congratulate you, and not only that, hold you accountable that you're gonna do it. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dr. Fab Show, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Hi, this is Dr. Fab Mancini, and we're having so much fun right now, and I know you like to have fun, and I love to have fun. I want you to click here right now, and I want you to go and look at some of our other videos that we have. Also, I want you to click right here and share. Share this information, this episode, with as many people as you can in your life. Lastly, I want you to click right here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So every single week, you get an announcement that you have another video like this waiting for you to help you live the life that you deserve. I'll see you soon.